Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we're back with some Gunfire Reborn. If you didn't see the last two episodes, it uh, was very, very fun, right? We checked out the new DLC, checked out the new characters, Nona, and uh, the last episode was Zizhao. Insane, insane, insane run. Spoiler alert in three seconds for that last episode. Three, two, one. Uh, we were able to beat reincarnation level one using an incredibly amazing build with this new character. Uh, so what I wanted to do is that since I know we're going to go on to or uh, whatever level two, um, uh, I want to play a character that I know, right? So we're going to go back to Aoi Bai. Um, he can kind of dual wield, right? Um, like the Gunzerker in Borderlands. He can get a bunch of tankiness. He's also really good about explosion stuff. Um, and I've done a lot of dual wield stuff, but I have done a ton of just raw explosion damage so I want to go back to basics right and just try to get a really cool explosion build with him and we're gonna jump up to now reincarnation level two there's like 20 or something reincarnation level this is a lot um, but we're gonna we're gonna do it here we're gonna do it I'm very scared about reincarnation level two right to be to completely honest um, I'm a little bit nervous because it took us a while to kind of get used to, uh, you know, reincarnation uh, level one here. I'm also going to turn the volume just a little bit down. Uh, let me know if that's uh, too loud, too quiet, anything like that. Um, uh, but let's see. Let's see. Well, well, so we just want as many explosion things as we can. Um, fire dragon. Okay, well, we'll take a freaking dragon for right now. Um... We literally just have a flamethrower. But yeah, this character can dual wield. If you've played Borderlands, it's kind of similar to that, right? I think this flamethrower is going to just... Oh, gosh. Well, I almost died already uh, to that trap right there. But, you know, ignore that. Ignore that. Um, crossbow. That's pretty sick. Um, so, yeah. But we're, so, a lot of the times what I like doing with this character is I like doing a... See, like, you could dual wield. We go... Flamethrower. No, I don't have any ammo. I, I ran out of ammo. There we go. Um, come on, where are the enemies? So if we have two explosion weapons, then we can just double dual wield um, explosion things, and that'll be pretty cool. All right. I think that'll be pretty swell. We also obviously just have our normal, you know, grenades or whatever. But yeah, I think I think as long as we uh, we get some good, you know, explodey uh, things, then then we'll have a good time. Um, so open the treasure chest here. This character also with the dual wielding just destroys, can melt bosses if you go that route. Um, so plus 30% rate of fire and accuracy while dual wielding. When dual wield ends, minus one. Next dual wield cooldown for every one second of remaining duration. You could also increase weapon damage and explosion damage upon killing an enemy or destroying an item. Or, increase base damage for grenades and there is a chance to consume no grenades when tossing. We're definitely going to do that. Like I said, we're trying to do just an absurd explosion build here. Uh, I think is the overall idea. Okay, we're just going to do a wield here. Flamethrower crossbow. Dual wielding is just absolutely insane, right? And this character can get very healthy as well. So, I don't really know how to cancel the ability, though. I don't want to die a lot at the start, almost dying to a trap. Hey, but we didn't, though. We didn't. We didn't die. Okay, so we're going to get uh, lightning damage plus 25% and immune to negative effects of shock effect. The uh, additive effect is doubled when in shock. We're not really going to do elemental. I mean, I guess maybe we now maybe slightly do with that, but probably not. Um, that is the other cool thing about the last character that we played as, right? The one that you can actually re-roll all of those scrolls and stuff like that. Um, that's obviously, like, really good. Um, and we are no longer allowed to do that, so... Oh, you have a crossbow? You think you... Also, yeah, my grenades do 100% more damage now. And I just have a chance to not consume... Oh! <laughs> I was firing a crossbow at the crossbow guy. Throwing grenades at the grenade guy. Yeah, grenades. Pretty cool here. Get away. Um. Oh. 
And then we'll do wield in here. Oh my gosh. Because you also have to be careful of the fire here as well. It's like a half trap room, half enemy room. I think there's someone up here. This flamethrower's got pretty decent range, honestly. Obviously, neither of these weapons are what I'm wanting long term. Like I said, I'm trying to do explosion damage, but they're doing okay for us so far. Whenever an ammo pack is picked up, it directly refills the magazine. Instead of your reserve ammo, you get some movement speed. While moving, the faster you move, the less damage you take. Or minus 30% damage taken when your shield armor is not zero. But plus th Nah. We'll just say... If we're moving faster, we take less damage. So I guess definitely hope to find some movement speed or something in the future here. Just get out of here. Definitely what we want. No, no, no. No, no, no. Just trying to use these grenades here. That's probably a better gun than one of the ones that we have. Okay, so this is... So this would be instead of the... Because this is normal ammo. So what is this? Also, why is there money surrounding that? Increase uh, gra uh, Increases accuracy gradually when firing. Um, and it does more damage to people decay. 50% chance to fill the magazine instantly when killing an enemy. That is pretty good. Wait, we can recycle. Wait. What? Oh, I forgot that was like an out of game progression now. I think we can recycle. I now I got an achievement, recycle an item. Yeah, I forgot about that. I can recycle items now that I don't want for a little bit extra money. So dual wielding here. Always awesome. Oh my God, he's immortal. That's no fair. Just got to ignore him here. It's no fair you're immortal. No fair, I tell you. Yeah, our grenades do a ton. Okay. Uh, poison, poison, grenadier, grenader. I think it's pronounced grenadier. Probably wrong on that though. Okay. What are perk we getting here? Um, increases lucky shot chance when dual wielding. Uh, dual wield during dual wielding, gain three percent weapon damage and one percent lucky shot chance every 0.5 seconds when continuously firing. Up to 20 stacks. Lose stacks when you're not firing. Increase um, the duration of dual wielding. Um, I'll just get this. Continuous firing, which makes me think if we get two rocket launchers, that wouldn't work. I don't know. Um, Okay, that's costing us out of game progression, which we don't even have, so. I don't know. I don't know. I definitely am not feeling crazy powerful right now, to be honest. I think we're like getting by. But I don't I don't see like a crazy good build quite yet. I'm just trying to push as much as I can while I have this dual wield up. Why does it just keep costing out of game progression? I think I just got unlucky there. Oh, there was a. Oh, okay. Well, this is the level up guy. I do not want to level up either of these weapons. Neither of these weapons are what I want. So. Is this the same one we did? It's like the half trap room, half enemy wave. Why am I so slowed? Okay. Bringing out the big guns here. Do 
Go, 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 go. Oh, did we already do it? That was it? That was not too bad at all. Come on, give me something good, though. Buns now recover full HP. That was not great. So the healing items now fully heal us, which... I gotta say, I genuinely don't think we're doing... I don't think we have a great build. I think we're we're skating by because we're gamers. But... There's a di okay. There's a different weapon over there. Uh, press the button to. Okay, so it's just a big shotgun. I don't think we want that. So we'll just recycle. This is nice to be. I mean, it's very little money, but it is nice to get money from those items. Because before we weren't getting anything. Well, these are suicide bombers. Th those will just, like, insta-kill you on these higher difficulties. Okay. Anything that I want here? No. I mean, there's a shock thing. We're looking for literally anything explosive. Anything explosive is what we're looking for. We have not found it quite yet. I mean, and yeah, this crossbow is pretty decent. It's not bad at all. Our grenades are decent as well. We're pretty much out of ammo for that. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, it's dual wield in time. It's dual wield in time, which the longer we just continuously fire, we get more damage, which having like an assault rifle here is pretty nice. Okay, our grenades are putting in work. Our grenades put in a lot of work there. I mean, the dual wielding was good as well, but... Oh. Okay, so we can either get... Recover ammo every second while dual wielding the amount of ammo recovered at doubles. And there's a chance to consume no ammo. Or we could have it become immune to normal damage after taking a certain amount of damage. Or the rate of fire and accuracy while dual wielding goes up. So we're not even finding much of these explosion things. Um... We're going to get the immunity thing. When max HP is decreased by 25%, immune to normal damage for two seconds. So if we take a bunch of damage, we get a little bit of a breather. It's not, like, we're not going to like instantly die all at once, right? Uh, this character has a lot of very good... Uh, a, a lot of very good defensive items. We're out of grenades. Anytime we're out of grenades, I need to make sure we're trying to hit... All the little ammo pots there in the corners. I think this is the final room. Um. Okay. Here we go. Do wielding time. I don't know. This is going to be a hard room, though. This is going to be a hard room. Even with dual wielding. Oh, my God. Of course. He's immortal. The ammo perk could have been decent, too, because you burn through so much ammo with this character. Oh, gosh. And I don't have any elemental stuff, you know, to... Specifically counter shields or armor. Oh my gosh, dude. These guys with their tracking longbows or whatever. Ah. And that's an elite in there. I don't know if more enemies are going to spawn. Probably. I don't know how I'm going to kill an elite with this build. I genuinely don't. I have no ammo, like, at all. Um. No, I didn't mean to. Uh, I, uh, I didn't mean to go in here. I didn't mean to dual wield. 
We don't really have like any ammo. We have a couple grenades. There was another, some item there. I don't know what type of item. This is going to be multiple waves of enemies, though. Because I believe that this is the final floor. Um, final room for this whole floor besides, obviously, the boss. We're just out of ammo, like, completely. Besides the infinite ammo gun. Oh, and there's going to be an elite here. Just casually spawning an elite here. Excuse me? This could be where the run ends. For real. I don't have any ammo. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I mean, I kill these guys to get ammo. That's what you're supposed to do. But I can't. Oh, my gosh. We're not having a good time. Okay, get these guys for the ammo. Okay, a lot of guns dropping. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. No! 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 He fished us in! Nope, there it is. Wow! That run, that whole run, just... We couldn't get anything going. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and upgrade <sighs> more ammo capacity. I don't know. Okay, we'll try this again here. We got to I don't know. That was just, that was a rough run the whole time. Whole run was rough. Okay. Uh, rainbow, bloody drill. Okay, throw the weapon to create an explosion. A right click can use all the ammo and co so we actually have an explosive weapon now. We're starting with an explosive weapon. I can get behind that. So we're still going to try the explosion build, right? That didn't work out last time. Increase weapon damage when hitting the enemy away from you. The further they are, the larger the bonus is up to 100%. So just finding that early on. Uh, pretty good. Found another gun here. Okay. So we have a large ammo and a normal ammo. Projectiles will split. Ooh, okay. See, I already am liking this build already more than we were previously. <laughs> Infinitely more than before. Oh, that's an insane weapon. And dual wielding this is going to be crazy. Let's just do it here. Okay, uh, let's grab this. Kind of wasting the time on it. Okay, so we can either have increased max HP and it gets doubled when dual wielding. Take lower damage and recover HP every second upon um, killing an enemy or destroying an item. Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, go, 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 go. We don't want to waste... Do a wield. Oh, I don't think I can do the explosion thing when I'm dual wielding. Dude, this weapon is ridiculous. It's like one-shotting people here. Oh my gosh. Plus 5% elemental damage for 10 seconds whenever you kill an enemy affected by an elemental effect. So, would be good if we were doing elemental. Which we still don't... I mean, we haven't gotten anything that helps with the explosions yet, but... 
I just kind of want to, right? We've done the dual wielding elemental builds before, and it's it's a fun build. Don't get me wrong. I just we've kind of done it a lot before. So definitely able to get through this a lot faster. That was right there. I missed him. Where do you think you're hiding? Oh, he's immortal. Okay, we're gonna do a wield here. What's just kind of confusing is like when you're dual wielding and one weapon's automatic and the other, it's like it's literally like left mouse and right mouse. Like you have to do it. Um, get a curse scroll and a enhanced occult scroll. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? So we lose crit damage. Oh, we just cannot crit. What did we get though? More ammo capacity? So we can't crit. At all. Or I guess it just does less. I don't know how much crit X actually does. Just for a little bit extra ammo capacity? Are you freaking kidding me? And there, We can't get rid of that. There's nothing we could do to get rid of that. That's a f that was a that was a not a good that was not a good trade deal. It was not a good trade deal. Oh my! Why does he have so much health? Just gotta be uh, aggressive. B, B, uh, aggressive. Okay, the jet octopus. Large. Oh, I'd have to lose the sunder, though? Because everyone always says that's so good, but I just... I, I, this, this sunder thing's insane, so... Get recycled there. Um, okay, toss two grenades instead of one with no additional consumption. Uh, yes, please. Because like I said, I'm trying to kind of do an explosion build here if I can. This is a parkour level, I think. Yeah. This is not hard. There's an extra secret you can find here, too. That's where you're supposed to go. But if you go back here, there's another one. Corrosion damage, 25%. Oh, it's giving me all these elemental things, man. I mean, I guess we're trying to force a certain build, which normally you're not supposed to do, but... Oh. Are you shitting me? Another elemental, 20% lucky shot chance against enemies affected by elemental. This is... <laughs> making me really want to pivot to an elemental build here. But... Now we get to throw two grenades instead of one. That's crazy. Yo, yo, Manny. What is that? That's an elemental weapon. I mean, this this explosion thing's not doing too much for us, I don't think. Okay, while we're dual wielding, might as well just go ahead. Oh, oh, that's the suicide bombers I was talking about. I may not choose elemental. Elementals choose at you. Because we took a corrosive thing too, right? Is that what that was? Is that an elite? No, it's a tower defense. Okay, so... <sighs> yeah, we specifically have corrosion. Oh, but it would get rid of the Sunder, though? Uh, oh, wait, 50% chance to cause an explosion that deals corrosion... Oh, co deals corrosion damage when killing an enemy. Okay. Okay. I mean, we got to take that. Definitely got to take that instead. I, d I, I would hope that explosion would count. Um, so these are the things we could buy. When not within 12 meters of a monster, gain more lucky shot chance... Um, 
Ooh, that's an explosion thing. Fire a series of explosive... Okay, here we go. Uh, it's a short-range thing. Okay. And we'll, we might as well buy that, right? Okay. So... Now we have Aura, Venom, and Deafening Mortar. This is like a boom. It's like a huge short-range explosion thing. Okay. Feeling a little bit more confident in this build. This is obviously the tower defense thing. So we're just going to dual wield here, right? Anytime someone gets close to me, I press my left button. And then otherwise, if they're far away... Oh my god, dude, this is short... It's such a short-range explosion thing, but... It's a very satisfying one. Oh crap, suicide bombers! Hitting the tower! No! Get off the tower! Oh my, how, why, why is this not doing damage? Why does this seem to suck? This is not how much damage I imagine explosions do. This is, this is not... I don't like it. This does so little! Now, if we get the perks right, that actually help with our... Okay, dual wielding again. Let's go, we're gonna lose, dude. Rip, I haven't failed one of these challenges in a very long time. I, I don't know. I don't know what just happened there, dude. This seems to not do a lot of damage. Plus, and it even has 50% total weapon damage against enemies and decay effect. So this is allegedly should be like the best combo we could have possibly found. Like, we probably are going to hold on to these two weapons, honestly. We failed the challenge. No chest for us. Damn. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, maybe I was trying to hit him from too far away. Because like, that looked... That, but that might have been the lucky shot chance. I, I don't know. Okay, we got dual wield in here now. And I can just hold down both of the buttons here, too, if I want to. Yeah, we consume so much ammo doing all this, though. So we want explosion damage here. Grenade Master, increased base damage for grenades, and there's a chance to consume no grenades. Absolutely amazing when we're throwing two grenades instead of one. Increase weapon damage and explosion damage upon killing an enemy or destroying an item. That's really good, but, I mean, we, the, the grenade thing, especially since we throw two grenades, is huge. Huge. So this is the last floor before boss of floor one here. Oh, okay, we are starting off. I think it's definitely having to do with the fact that we're on the corruption or ascension level two. I don't remember what this game calls it. Every freaking game calls something different. Maybe that's that guy, the loyal, robust monster. I don't know what half these perks are. Okay, we're dual wielding. Nope, nope, nope. That's like a hard room. Okay, lucky shot chance on set. Okay, well, we can't dual wield this. This just goes away, unfortunately. Um, lightning blast. Um, to cause an explosion that deals corrosion damage when killing an enemy. Ooh. We may actually take this over the aura. Because this still... 
It does shock and 50% chance to cause an explosion that deals corrosion damage when killing an enemy. So we would have like technically two elements in one. We're not going to be able to do the whole cool spear thing though. The, the alt fire. Plus 3%. Okay. Yeah. Didn't think I was going to get rid of this. I guess we do. And then this will upgrade. We're going to upgrade... Um, lightning blast once. And deafening mortar once. Okay. This will give us a little bit more range here too, I think. And then when we're just using it... You can shoot these cool, like, orbs. They do a lot. Well, that was a lot of damage there. Get away from me, man. Yeah, we don't have a lot of grenades. So it's like we alt fire, and then if you shoot through it, you do extra damage. And shock does more to shields. Just, I don't know, they got a lot of health here. Got a lot of health. Okay, okay, it's time. Grenade! 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 Um, okay. Alt fire now. No, 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 no. Maybe I'm being too aggressive. Probably being a bit too aggressive here. It's like I'm just dual wielding, so I want to be aggressive. While I have it. Oh, dude, those grenades, though. So that was the little ex uh, corrosion explosion. Oh, no, no, no. So you want to do that alt fire... It's still like, it's not a hit scan weapon. You're definitely shooting projectiles, you know? And that's an elite vault. Yeah, we blew him up. Um, Okay, here we go. We should be aggressive. Be aggressive here. Oh my god, maybe that was a play. I don't know, this is such a risky build. It seems to be relatively working, though. One more guy up there. Oh, oh, I didn't, I thought that was part of the map. Can I shoot through the wall? The, the, yeah, the, the range on this is so particular. So we did it. We want to go fight that elite, but... Okay, we're hoping for explosion. Uh, increased explosion AoE and damage for grenades and explosion wep uh, explosive weapons. Or we could do reduces reload time and increase weapon damage a few seconds after reloading. Uh, no. Yeah, definitely the explosion stuff. Explosion AoE for grenades and explosion explosive weapons. Um, so now we're just going to try to get as much ammo as we can. This is the wolf gaze. Normal. Um, no. Heard, heard good things about that weapon. It's one of the new weapons from one of the new DLCs. But uh, give an occult scroll... For money. Wait, I can hand over the this? Oh, <gasps> you can. So you can't discard the bad ones, but you can hand them over. I just got paid to get rid of that bad scroll. Big brain play. That's a big brain play. Okay, let's hopefully not throw. Um, looking for more ammo that we desperately need before this. Also, there was that peddler. Phantom peddler. So he uses the out-of-game progression. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, both of these are so... <gasps> oh, but they're both special. Okay, that's the Zarya weapon. You charge up a gravity bomb that creates a singularity, drawing in all surrounding enemies and causing them to explode. This is just a, a cannon, though. Do we have a special? Oh, we do. We have the deafening mortar, though. Honestly, the deafening mortar isn't as good as a freaking... Um... I don't know. 50% chance to cause an explosion that deals corrosion damage. Okay, no. We're going to buy this. We're going to say goodbye to this cannon thing here. As much as I like it. A freaking rocket launcher itself is going to be so much better. Especially one that then can cause additional ex uh, corrosive explosions. So, okay. See if we can fight an elite here. Trying to conserve my ammo on the rocket until the elite spawns. Oh, you can Oh, they just split. It's like they're slimes. Glad we can actually get a little bit more. Oh my god, more crit damage. Oh, the explosions of. Thing. Okay. Before the elite spawns, I don't know why the elite hasn't spawned yet. Bunch of suicide bombers here. Yeah, that grenade damage is insane now. Okay, here's the elite. Okay, rapid fire now. Just use the rocket launcher off cooldown. The big shielded guy. I am about to die though. What's up with that? A lot of grenades I want to go pick up over there. Grenades are some of our highest DPS stuff right now. Okay, get I got him, I got him. About to die though. Throw the grenades, throw the grenades, throw the grenades. Throw the grenades, throw the grenades. No, I'm about to die! Okay, okay, we're using our one revive. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. So we had to use our one revive using out of game progression. You're allowed one per. I cannot believe we had to waste that. Oh. That's lame. Don't want either of those. Man, at least we had enough pro out of game progression for the run to not end there. But we have no more revives here. Whatsoever. Uh, minus 40% weapon damage, but every attack hits twice. Effective on up to 15 projectiles? For every excess projectile, gain 3% weapon damage? What? Um. What? How does that work with ex every attack hits twice? I mean, it's a legendary. We got to try it. I don't. I really don't know how to interpret that. Like, at all. I don't know how to interpret that at all. Okay, we're fighting the, uh, the boss, though, of Act 1, and we don't have a revive. What happens if I fall? Oh, you can't. Okay. What if I just... My run was just over there. Okay. So, now this character is allegedly... Allegedly good against bosses. Normally, if you're doing more of a dual wield build, right? But... Um, whenever you inflict shock... Inflict uh, shock on yourself. Damage taken plus 10%. When you're in shock, we do a lot more lightning. 
Um, no, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, though. Well, we'll, we'll buy uh, some more ammo, though. And we will upgrade both of these weapons once. 15 of your ammo hits two times other than... But I just don't know, like, if it's, like, how, how the hitting twice works. But okay, let's see if we can kill this boss, make it into area two. So you just gotta keep hiding when he shoots those lasers. Throw the grenades. Okay, so I'm seeing... Oh, jeez. Oh, we were about to die, though. That's no bueno. Got him down to half health. Oh, shit. Gotta shoot the rocks out of the air. Gotta always make sure you have a rock to hide behind. So the grenades hit twice too. No, 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 no. What? How did what? What? He's so close to dead. We got him. Okay, we at least made it to area two. We don't have a revive going into area two, but whatever. 2% uh, weapon damage for every 100 copper you currently have. Okay, okay. Very nice that we can recycle these things now, right? Okay, we can either get more max HP... Uh, immune to damage after taking a certain amount of damage or during dual wielding get more. Okay, I'm going to say um, the close call. It just prevents you from dying like all at once, right? So at least we get to go into area two. Man, reincarnation level two though. I mean, there's like 20 levels of reincarnation. Now, to be fair, right, there's... um. You know, a lot of out of game, game progression, so. Just trying to rock it. We just need more explosion damage. We we haven't we need we need more explosion damage. Yeah, this rocket launcher though, way better than if we had taken uh, kept that one other explosion. Someone's behind me. Like, we got so low there. Like, I think what the thing we just picked up is going to prevent us from getting, like, one shot to, like, snipers and stuff. I think. I don't actually know, though. I don't quite know how the perk works. Hey, it's your boy. Oh, uh, yeah. Could you go ahead and... Up I'm going to just upgrade this rock. I don't know. The rocket launcher is a common, though. That's the only thing that sucks. Um, I don't even know. I'm just going to upgrade the rocket launcher twice. We're not really using the other thing except for dual wielding. You got so much health, dude. What? It's very sad. I, I kind of wish we could have done the, the Zarya weapon. Um, 
damage. The Zarya weapon is really cool. Um, and it's really good against like crowds of enemies. But this this was definitely the just raw damage thing that I think we needed. Yeah, see, I think like some of those snipes would be killing me if I didn't take the perk that I had taken. Because they're preventing me from losing more than 25% of my HP or something at once. And yeah, the grenades are definitely one of the biggest parts of our build still here, obviously. Especially since we get to throw two grenades every time we throw a grenade. And there's a chance that we don't even use a grenade when we do that. That's going to be a parkour vault. Um, which I've gotten real good at the parkour vault, so... Oh, there's just an elite! Just casually an elite! Just casually an elite coyote. Don't worry. Just casually an elite... I had a flamethrower guy! Nope, it's over. <laughs> oh, it's over. Rip run. Are we just floating in the midair? We're just floating in the middle of the air. And see, that's the problem is because we used a lot of our out-of-game progression for that one revive, right? I mean, we get a little bit, right? Um, I'm going to say increase ammo capacity, right? Maybe one more time. We've officially hit in talent level 100. Uh, we did get an achievement for that. But, uh... Hey, I mean, you can't win them all. I mean, especially because we're on reincarnation too, right? It took us a while to actually kind of get good enough uh, to beat reincarnation level one. So, uh, you know, uh, between the, the insane runs, right? Like uh, that what we had last time, there's always going to be some of these more dud runs, which, uh, you know, is totally fair, totally fine, stuff like that, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, overall, it was fun um, going back to some of the old characters we haven't done in a while uh, here, trying to do a, you know, grenade and explosion build um, and, uh, you know, seeing and some of the new weapons and stuff like that. So, um, you know, uh, we're still making progress, getting better, right? We're leveling up. We're now level 100, so we'll keep doing better and better in the future. Um, so, you know, if you're watching After the Fact on YouTube and you want to see more, definitely let me know. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, ring that bell like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when more or if more Gunfire Reborn videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. And if you guys are going to be grinding out some Gunfire Reborn on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.